I'm Nori Sato. I'm an artist. I live in Seattle and I've been commissioned to make an artwork for this new facility. Most of the work that I do is very contextual, so it's made to fit the particular site and the facilities that I work in. I did a piece in Ankeny for their sister laboratory there, and I think because of that, they thought I might be a good artist to consider for this particular facility. I wanted to use imagery and to make a piece that would work with the mission of the lab. But then also I try to come up with a format and a form that will go into the particular space. I have decided to work in glass just because the lobby has so much great light coming into it and there's just a lot of glass surfaces here. And so it made a lot of sense to use that and start with the uh, idea of the petri dish, kind of the round dish that's so ubiquitous that's used in a lot of the research and, and use that as the form. And also kind of thought of, of it as a, as a portal or a way of looking through things. And then made a, a work that incorporated this idea of a ribbon that kind of connects all these things together which is also somewhat reminiscent of the DNA strand. It sort of has a double meaning. It's not necessarily the double helix, but it could be looked at in that way. And then incorporating within that these kind of portals into the various aspects of the research. I kind of worked in between art and science, I think, in those. What I developed was a series of glass pieces that was a combination of reflecting what the laboratory did, the whole idea about looking and research and not always being able to tell what you're looking at and not always being able to see things clearly and looking at things from a variety of different distances. I worked from computer files, so I made a, many of these on the computer. They translated those to silk screens and they silk screened the main red and blue image on to the glass, and then they fired it. And then they brought it back to the studio, they sandblasted it, and then the circles were all individually handmade. The circles were inspired by images that the lab people work with, things that are really small that you might look at in a microscope like bacteria or viruses or mold, and other things that are really big, like scenes or clouds or equipment. And, and so there's this kind of micro, macro thing. And when you look at it, everything, the scales allow you to kind of play back and forth like this. And I really love the way that it just sort of is animated, I think, by what goes on on the other side of the glass, by the cars that are out there and by the, you know, trees and plants, and that the view through it is going to change through the seasons, too, and that the relationship between the outside and inside will be really interesting. I mean, in a way, I feel like this whole lobby, because it's so white and clean, is kind of like a gallery space, and I'm able to have my artwork here really featured I'm always interested in how people will actually engage with it. Because I think what I'm interested in is that there isn't a single interpretation of it, that there are a lot of different ways that you can kind of look at it and read it. A lot of science is actually about interpretation. And the scientists are always interpreting data in a lot of different ways. So in a way, I think art has that same interpretive aspect to it. I think there's a good relationship between art and science in that way.